Hello, thank you for checking out my video today. In today's video, I want to talk about the latest uh, addition to my motherboard project. So if you've been following on Discord, uh, you, you've probably seen a few of the pictures of this before it was built from uh, the CAD program. So you might already be aware of this. So what I've done is I've combined the V40 processor card with the uh, ROM card. Uh, real quick, I mean, it's, it's pretty straightforward. We've got our 512K RAM here, uh, 128K here to make a complete 64K of lower memory. I added this slot here uh, as a suggestion. It's a uh, map to address E0000, uh, 64K, so some of the pins are uh, just connected to ground. So this could be, you could either plug in like another 128 to get that 64K, if you wanted some RAM, or uh, there's a disc on a chip. I have one, I haven't tried it yet, that theoretically should plug right into there. And maybe with some modifications, it could work as a uh, another drive on the PC if that's how they work. I've only read the book on them, I've never played with them. Uh, V40 processor here. We've got our two latches and our data transceiver there. If you look, there's an outline. This is for a ZIF socket on that one. Uh, I didn't have any in stock, but I was a little impatient. So I assembled this with just a regular socket. Now, I've been kind of, uh, I've got some emails on combining the processor and the memory card together in the past. And that's not exactly why I did this. I did this for this. This is a breadboard adapter, and uh, this card will plug into it. I have not uh, wrote any code to make it work yet, but uh, I've tested the card on a motherboard, so it does work. But what I wanted originally was I wanted a compact 8088 system that had everything that I needed, the bare minimum, to run. But then I wanted to also be able to connect to a breadboard, and I thought about a pin header, I was like, well, why not just make it adapt to my motherboard project and uh, have that as, a, as an additional option for that project as well. The uh, breadboard adapter, um, it's got a power switch and USB-C. Um, got some resistors on here, some uh, resistor arrays here for some pull-ups. Everything is not pulled up on this. So there are things uh, like um, if you were to use this with my 8088 card right now, the chip selects are not pulled up. So um, you'd also have to decode for them too. So anyway, it gets complicated. But that, that was the main purpose of this was to have a breadboard capable 8088 uh, motherboard. And then, like I say, it will plug into my motherboard system. Um, I'll go ahead and demo it booting up on the motherboard system to show that it does work. So let me uh, turn the camera here. See if this will work. I've had a little bit of trouble, but I'm kind of thinking my drive was corrupt and it wasn't the actual the board. So let's get that in the screenshot there. It's going to be small and hard to see, but what's on the screen is kind of irrelevant other than it is just booting up. So it's just counting memory right now. Speaker works. Starting MS-DOS. And there's our command prompt. Uh, let's make sure the keyboard does type. So it does work with the motherboard project. And it uh, it is, like I said, it's designed to plug into a uh, breadboard. So anyway, thanks for checking out my project today.